problems with this idea that, I mean, first of all, that, that's an unfalsifiable thesis. I mean, there, and there are infinite numbers of unfalsifiable theses that you're not tempted to believe. And we could believe that this is, we're in the matrix and, you know, I mean, that, that you go down that uh, path and there's uh, a lot that could be asserted by people who are sure we're in the matrix and where, you know, some alien civilization is simulating us on a, their hard drive. Um, uh, one problem is that we have many holy books authored by the creator of the universe and they're in conflict. You know, they're not... It, the New Testament makes it perfectly clear that Jesus is the Son of God, really the Son of God, and you have to believe this, otherwise you're going to spend eternity in hell. The Quran says twice that Jesus was not the Son of God, and anyone who believes he's the Son of God will spend eternity in hell. I mean, this, is, this offers as much room for compromise as a coin toss. Uh, so so let's, say, let's say we just knew that one of those claims were, was right. You know, we have a universe, we, now it's, we've, we've, we've eliminated all the other possibilities. We're living in this challenging universe where God has given us a highly imperfect book and, and asked us to grapple with it. But now we have the biblical claim, the New Testament claim to the divinity of Jesus and, and it, the, the necessity of believing in it and the Quranic claim that belief in Jesus' divinity leads to damnation. Now, which is more likely, that, that one of those is right uh, and the other is wrong, or that we have these competing tribes who were, were toiling in the context of just abysmal ignorance about the, the world and, and the, you know, the, the, the birth of the cosmos and the, and the destiny of any individual soul after death. Uh, you know, I would put my lot in with a wider view of the circumstance, but even if we granted your premise that, no, no, there's a good reason to believe that one of these books is perfect, we're still with a, a coin toss situation. We don't know whether to be a Christian or a Muslim. Um, and we're noticing that people are, are choosing basically on the, on the basis of accidents of birth. I mean, you're just accidentally born in Afghanistan and then you, you choose to be a Muslim. Um, and likewise with Christianity elsewhere, uh, it is a, it's a very strange sort of loving God who would have created this circumstance. That by mere accident of birth, you are raised to believe that a certain book was, was uh, and, and let's say rightly raised to believe that this book was you know, the perfect book. But if you happen to be born in China, you, know, you go for centuries without hearing about this. It's a, it's a, 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 a for, for I think obvious reasons, a totally provincial and, and uh, implausible scenario. And yet it's the scenario that most people believe in the 21st century.